So guys, I've literally just got back from watching Alien Romulus. Wow, what a good film. It is so, so good. Uh, this video, just so you know, there's no spoilers in this video. This is going to be quite a short video. I don't think it'll be more than, I think it'll be less than 10 minutes. Uh, but I'm just going to go over my thoughts, what I thought of the film, uh, and that sort of thing. So uh, first and foremost, I strongly recommend you go and watch this film. This film brilliant the writing was a star they did a fantastic job on the writing you could tell that they put some serious thought into the story the plot the writing to go along with all the characters they really really developed the characters fantastically throughout this uh unlike um i think it was prometheus uh where i still don't know half the characters names um and most of the characters were disposable in this the characters were really really good you were really invested in a lot of the characters um as always with the alien franchise we do have a synthetic we have a few synthetics in this uh and they're absolutely fantastic i loved the synthetics uh in this we actually had ian Holm. Uh, who was the very first synthetic from Alien. So it's nice to have Alien and then Alien Romulus and the same synthetic brought back. There was a little bit, there was a, a little, a bit at the start where his character came in where the CGI wasn't particularly great. It would have been nice if they spent a little bit more time just flushing out that CGI uh, for his character. But after the first few moments, you can't really tell. It looks really good. Uh, they did a fantastic job of bringing him back into the franchise uh, and something that I really, really like to see. Uh, if you're a fan of, uh, of Ian Holm, you, you love seeing, uh, you'll love seeing him in this. Uh, his character in this is called Rook, or Rook, uh, so that's really good. We have a very, very good, strong female lead in this. Uh, play, uh, it's, uh, her name is Rain, played by Callie Spaney. I hope I pronounced that right. And she was absolutely brilliant. Uh, she she went through loads of trials and tribulations. Um, it wasn't it wasn't given. Uh, her wins weren't given easy. She had to work for her wins. Uh, she played a character brilliantly. Fantastic actress. Uh, never seen her before or anything she's been in. Uh, and she absolutely nailed it in this movie. Uh, her character is Rain and. I'll tell you what, I would love to see another film with her in it again in the Alien franchise because even though Ripley will never be replaced, she is just as good as Ripley and could lead the franchise going forward. Um, and I would love to see her in another one. They've got to make another one, uh, Romulus 2 or something, I don't know, uh, because it would be fantastic to see more of her. Uh, we have a, uh, the main android, or sorry, main synthetic, uh, which is played by David Johnson. Uh, his name is Andy, and he is great. I absolutely loved his character in this. The actor was phenomenal. Uh, he did an incredible job, absolutely incredible job in his role uh, as, the th as the synthetic. We do have some other characters, and again, they're all memorable. There's not, there's not one character, um, apart from maybe the pilot, even she's fairly rem memorable, but there's not one character that, you don't, that you're not thinking about when you come out of the movie. Um, we've also got a really strong male lead, which is Tyler. Um, his name is, uh, he's played by Archie R uh, Renu, I believe, or Renux, uh, I believe you pronounce it. Again, I'm not very good with names, so I apologize if I butcher the name there. His character was brilliant, really good, strong male lead character, and it complemented uh, Carly Spaney's uh, performance so well. It was just it was the it's this film uh, of a lot of films recently this film has got to be one of the most well cast films uh, i've seen for a long time there's not one person that was poorly cast it was brilliant um i'm not going to go into details on the movie i'm not going to give any spoilers away effectively we start out on a planet uh, which is a mining planet and their goal is to escape this mining planet to get to a lovely lovely planet um which is like nine years away uh to do that they have to board um another ship and 
basically get the cryo freezers of cryo containers from the ship so that they can then go to this other planet which is nine miles away um and that's that's basically all i'm going to give you that's basically the general gist it's on imdb as a general gist um the the main ship that they go to is so cool um it is um it's called i think it's called uh, romulus and remus so the ship's like two halves of the whole uh, it is just it is one of the best alien films i've seen for a long time uh, i'm still quite bitter that we never got the third one uh from the prometheus storyline um but i believe this is more of a reboot um to sort of like replace the prometheus and the other one that came after it um and i'll tell you what this was a brilliant start to revamping the franchise and going forward from here on in when i look back at prometheus i'll be honest i really enjoyed prometheus it was a really good film and it was a great start to the uh, history of the xenomorph um and then we got um oh what's the other one called uh, then we got uh alien convent uh Con i think i pronounced that right and that was just trash effectively there's so much backlash about the xenomorph in from prometheus really scott felt he was uh, his hand was forced to then change the whole uh concept of uh convent and i'll be honest convent was a terrible aliens film um i can't remember any of the characters most of the characters were not flushed out they're all forgettable uh the storyline was it felt rushed it felt like it had been massively altered and with this it just works really well the characters are all flushed out you know who they are you're rooting for them uh, the xenomorph in this is brilliant there's some really really smart writing with the xenomorph and how they're engaging with them uh, and that's done so so well um, the whole um, uh, twist that is in this film is just really good and really scary i'm quite a jumpy person when i watch horror films and jump films and it got me a couple of times i'll be honest there was a couple of times i jumped in my seat seat at the uh, movies um and it was really well it's embarrassing when i jumped but it was great to have that in there there was a number of times i was like oh god i don't i don't want to watch what i'm going oh no i don't want to i don't want to see what's happening you know that's it's been a long time since the film's got me to so i just peek through my fingers to you know not try and see but to see um absolutely fantastic film i would highly highly recommend you go watch this uh, this film as soon as you get chance uh, i think this film is going to do very big numbers at the box office uh, and i think it's going to be number one or top of the films for quite some time even though it's going against deadpool and wolverine which has broke a billion which is fantastic love that film as well even though that's still going really strong and will do for some time this is a great film if i had to choose between this and deadpool and wolverine i would ha find it now very hard to decide which one i want to go with uh, and i will think it will come down to just one of two things do i want something fun and actiony uh, or do i want to get the hell scared out of me and that will be the deciding factor because these two films are brilliant um i would give if i was to give this a, an out of 10 i'd give this i'd most probably give this a 9.5 out of 10 um quite easily it is so good there's a part at the start of the film where she's got this watch on and it is just such a cool watch that you can do video calls on i know we can do that now but this is like this is a retro watch so even though it's in the future all the tech in the film is from like kind of like aliens and alien uh, sorry from alien and aliens timeline so it's not really advanced like aliens 3 it's still all dark grungy horrible tech um you know really dingy tech uh, the ships are old and rusty and you've got that really good feeling um that it's not brand new it, it just feels really good i felt i gone back to when alien and aliens was out it fits perfectly between those two films 
if when this comes out on DVD, I would go right watch Alien, watch Alien Romulus, and then watch Aliens because it just works really well. It fits in perfectly. Aliens three and all the ones haven't done what this has, and that's to make you feel um, power. What's going on? It is a fantastic film. If you want to hear about the spoilers, I'm going to do another video right now and the spoilers will be on that and I'll go into lots more detail what happened in this movie because, guys, this film, it's epic.